so the toolbar contains buttons that we can use to run and edit a VI many of these toolbar buttons provide functionality that is also available through keyboard keyboard shortcuts so the first button is the run button we can click on it to run the the VI the the lab view compiles the VI if necessary and we can run a VI if the run button appears as a solid white arrow the solid white arrow also indicates that we can use the VI as a sub VI if we run a VI and the icon appears like this then that means that the VI is running and it is a top level VI that is it has uh, no colors and therefore is not a sub VI so if we have a main BI and we run it and then we click on a sub BI and it is also running then the run button appears like this it means that the this is this VI is now running as a sub VI so if we have a VI already running and we double click on a sub VI then the run button appears like this this means that the uh, VI is reserved for call as a sub VI. Uh, this situation can occur if the VI is a sub VI of a VI that is already running or if the VI has a strictly typed VI reference open to it. When the VI is reserved, we cannot run it directly. if the run button appears like this that is appears broken then the VI we are creating or editing contains error we can click this run button to display a, the error list window which lists all the errors if the run button still appears broken after we finish wiring the block diagram the VI is broken and cannot run. Next we have run continuously button which runs the VI until we abort or pause the execution. Next button is called abort execution this aborts execution of the top level VI if more than one running top level VI uses the VI the abort button is then dimmed we can also use the abort VI method to abort the execution of the VI programmatically. The abort execution button stops the VI immediately before the VI finishes the current iteration. Aborting a VI that uses external resources such as external hardware might leave the resources in an unknown state by not resetting or releasing them properly. We should design VIs with a stop button to avoid this problem. So the next uh, item is available. Let's go to the block diagram. And if we run the VI, then we can press this uh, pause button. It highlights the position where the pause occurred and 
then we can again press it to uh, continue the execution and while the VI is paused the button appears red red means that it is paused so the next item is highlight execution when we turn this highlight execution on uh, the block diagram displays an animation when we click the run button and the VI is running uh, if the highlight execution button appears yellow then it means that the execution highlighting is enabled and you can flow, see the flow of data bubbles through the wires so the next option is retain wire values if we press it then LabVIEW saves the values at each point in the flow of execution so that when we place a probe on the wire we can Im immediately obtain the most recent value that passed through the wire. This debugging, debugging tool can impact the performance of our VI as it requires little more memory to store all those extra values. Next we have this uh, step into so if we start stepping through then it becomes step into and we can then step into the nodes and they execute and wait and if we arrive at a sub VI and we press this step into button then the uh, the execution debugging will proceed inside the selected sub VI like this it will open up and we can then proceed from within that VI so the next uh, debugging tool that we are going to view is called step over and it becomes available when we are stepping through the code and especially uh, when we reach a sub VI if we press step into then the sub VI block diagram will open up and we can debug the insides of the sub VI if we press step over the lab view will just run the VI and the code will uh, uh, the sub VI will output its uh, results and this block diagram of that particular sub VI will not open we will just jump over the VI and continue debugging in the main VI sub VIs will not open so next we have this button which is called step out which displays this uh, finish iteration and uh, what is that does it it steps out of the currently highlighted structure directly bypassing it during the uh, debugging so next we have text settings dialog box which we can use to apply uh, text settings to the selected uh, text we can change apply fonts uh, use a predefined templates for how appearance of the text change the size change the style justification color and we can use these fonts installed on our system further if we have a sub VI and we have a breakpoint applied someplace and if we run the main VI and we hit the 
breakpoint then in in place of the uh, text uh, settings we will find this uh, call list uh, uh, drop down from which we can select the callers of the vi if it has callers and if we click on a particular caller then the block diagram of that caller at the location where that uh, sub vi is located opens up if we have several objects on the front panel or block diagram we can use the align objects to change the alignment of the objects for example if they are out of alignment we select them then we can go to align and then we can apply all these alignments top edges vertical centers bottom edges right edges horizontal centers or left edges etc to align the objects to our as a, to our liking right next to align objects is distribute uh, objects which we can use to change the spacing between the uh, objects for example we can compress them vertically or we can uh, change the vertical gap in which case the spacing will be equalized between the objects or we can remove the space altogether and uh, compress them vertically horizontally or this we can do other types of distributions using this menu so next object is resize if we have an object that we have resized to our desired size and then then if we place a new object then that object is placed in a default size so if we want to change the size of the new object according to the size of the uh, previous object then we can use this resize object which allows us to to uh, increase the size of the smaller object to the uh, larger object or the opposite change the maximum width maximum height both minimum width minimum height both or something uh, set uh, our own desired uh, settings let's change the maximum width so the lower smaller object with the lower width becomes equal to the width of the selected object with larger width next is uh, a reorder suppose we have some decorations and we have put them in front of an object and now we would want to uh, make this uh, decoration go to the back and bring the control to the front we can use this uh, reorder palette uh, reorder drop down and we can move to the back and then so the decoration has now moved to the back and the object that was behind has now come up this is like the Z order uh, next we have cleanup diagram if we have some wires going through haphazard manner and we would like to clean them up we can use this cleanup diagram which cleans the block diagram up uh, according to its understanding next we have show context help we can press it to show the context help window if it is open then we can again press it to toggle it off and or on next we have the enter button which appears when we are making some changes and we have not committed the changes then this button appears which we can press and then commit the changes to that particular control or constant on the block diagram we can also use the enter key to do the same and it disappears when you have committed the changes next is warning uh, it appears only if we have turned on this option 
show warning only then it appears over here if we can if we press it then it will list all the warnings that the lab view finds in our code the last button appears when we have the same bi in two projects so let's create a new project so we can see it in action so here we have a new project and let's add this vi to this project as well and let's open the other copy as well and if we now add make a change to this copy then this button will appear which is uh, called synchronize with other application instances if I press it then it applies changes to the VI in all application instances we cannot undo changes made to the VI after we click this button this button is available only if we edit a VI that is open in multiple application instances as you can see this new button is not here until I press this synchronize with other application instances button.